time you use it, it secretly chips away at your own self-esteem. And plus, that is the work of the enemy. YouTube, what's up? Alvin here, also known as Project 8020. Welcome to Simple Shit TV. And uh, today, in today's video, I just want to pose a question. Um, the question is, is it time to dead the N-word? Now, I know that sounds crazy. I personally, myself, I really don't use the term, whether that be around just black folks or otherwise. I don't like the word myself. I never really have. Um, I have my own reasons for that. I think it's a very powerful word that you can't change the meaning of or too much blood has been shed over that particular word. But I, I alone am not going to try to convince you. Judge Joe Brown recently on vhiphopnews.com broke down in a very eloquent way or at least a very basic way as to why we should at least consider getting rid of that word altogether. So Without further ado, <clears throat> without further ado, let's have uh, Ju Judge Joe Brown kind of drop a little bit of knowledge on us. Let's go ahead. They accuse and get other folk to believe they're guilty of. They get the target to thinking in the terms that they want you to think. And that's one where I get a lot of young folk your age upset when I get on this N-word. Uh, every clinical psychologist I know that I've talked to says that you don't make that n-word harmless by saying it or adopting it your subconscious knows what it means so every time you use it it secretly chips away at your own self-esteem and plus that is the mm. and look look at this brother's response after he says that because we know we know we know we shouldn't be using the word because even amongst each other, I think there's a piece of us that absolutely positively can't stand that word. But I'm going to run that back just so you could just pay, pay attention to the brother here sitting on the left and just pay attention to how he respond, like just his facial expressions, because I'm sure even after Judge Joe Brown said what he said, I'm sure a lot of you guys had the exact same response. Time you use it it secretly chips away at your own self-esteem. And plus, that is the work of the enemy. You don't think that they would not have cut off the funding 45 years ago, 40 years ago, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, five years ago from funding this stuff if they didn't want it to be hurt. They want us to think of ourselves as eaters. And by the way, like he said, they, they want us to think of ourselves like in words. Let's run that back. Hurt. They want us to think of ourselves as eaters. And by the way, be hurt. They want us to think of ourselves as eaters. And by the way, uh, that end of the 60s was a dead word mm. but not quite dead you had well i used to run the public defender's office in memphis and back in the mm. mid 70s I so it was almost a dead word it wasn't something that was it was in the lexicon but it wasn't something that was being used widely in the media it was still very much a bad word. It was still very much a word that might get you yo, behind kicked if you were to call somebody that in public. A la like if you were a, a non-melanated person calling a melanated person that word. It could cause some some static. But uh, Judge Joe Brown is just gonna break down the second part where, because if we're wondering where why the word still 
remains, this is the reason why. I had all these white employees who were afraid to go out and talk to black defendants and witnesses, and I'd go out. I was from Los Angeles, and but I was in Memphis, got sent here on a fellowship. I'm going in the kitchen in the projects, and there's girls 13, 15, 19, and a 19 year old is a client. And every one of the girls from 13 to 19 has children. And you got 10 or 12 little kids with snot dried all over their faces and food all over the front, crap on their behinds. They haven't had it washed in uh, two weeks and they stink like hell. And the mama's going, little hen, bring me my cigarettes, you little fool, little picking any, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, girl, he ain't nothing but no. End dog just like his no good dad. Yeah, guys, he ain't worth, you know. And you see, that was, let's say, 1976. Okay, 77. Well, let's fast forward, 1987. That seven-year-old is now 17, going on 18. Let's fast forward from 87 to 1997. And now 27 going on, 28. Let's go to 2006, he's 37, 2017, he's 47, he's 50 year old man now. But been, what is going- Been called an N word his whole life, primarily by his own mother. Think about that for a second. Demeaned his in almost his entire life, primarily by his own mother. So when you look at the psyche of the American black man and you wonder why some of us can't quite get it together, you understand that the conditions are less than ideal. Let's say that. What's going on is his mama, who was 15, 16, 17, 19 at the time, now is grandmama, great grandmama, great, great grandmama, great, 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 great grandmama, et cetera, with six generations. And she ain't even hit 60 years, 65 years old, 70 years old. And she running around acting a damn fool, still evil. And we have all these young brothers who have been raised by being called the N word and dogs. And like one young brother explained to me, this has been, almost 30 years ago, I used to run these counseling sessions. Mm. He told his mama he was never coming back home because he wanted to grow up to be a man. And he started saying, Judge is right. You start calling all us dogs. Why you think we call you bitches? Because if you've been screwing all these dogs, you either in the deep end of what you say, Judge, bestiality, or you a lady dog, which makes you a bitch. Mm. So so we're going to go ahead and end that there, but I'm going to link the, this video in the description below, but I just wanted to do this to cover this one thing. I think it's about time we dead that word. And, you know, I know it's a very important part of a lot of people's lexicon, but I think if us as black people and, and, and white people, I know that you might be listening, but I need you guys to hold off and just listen for a second. But black people, if we are going to have some pride in ourselves, start to get our dignity back. This is a word I think that needs to die. This word needs to die. There is no dressing it up and making it nice or taking the meaning of it. That's not possible. We need to dead this word and it needs to, we need to treat that word like these other folks treat anti-Semitism, if that makes any sense. So we need as black people need to treat that word like the group that shall remain unnamed, treat anything that they deem anti-Semitic. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video on that. Look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, look, things are gonna change. I'm switching things up. I'm kind of getting my feet planted in the YouTube kind of situation, trying to grow the channel. If you liked something, 
please hit me in the comments. Let me know what you liked. If you disliked something, please hit me in the comments and let me know what you disliked. Um, Erica Badu said it best. I'm an artist. I'm sensitive about my shit and I'll holler at you guys on the next one. Peace. Thanks.